and welcome to this week's Council Bluffs News. I'm Aaron Zach. Budget cuts continue to have an impact on local education. In recent years, state funding for local schools has gone down. Now one elementary school in Council Bluffs could close as a result. School officials and community members are trying to find a way to keep their facility open. A determined group trying to keep their school alive. It's a small community, small town, and they need their school. And one last push to get the message across. I think we need to rally together. I think everyone needs to come and show the support at the board meeting um, and just plead with them to not close our school. The board for the Council Bluffs Community School District has to make a tough decision in the coming weeks about Crescent Elementary as a reduction in state funding threatens to close the school. For the last seven years, the average state funding has been 1.83 percent for a school district that generally has an increase between 3.5 and 4 percent each year. Parents like Shannon Miller say the possibility of losing the school is a hard reality to deal with. I just feel that it's, it's completely devastating to us. Um, we actually moved to Council Bluffs to attend Crescent. We only opt to go there. Um, and we just, I don't know what we would do without the school. District administrators say the discussions are hard, but necessary. I'm pretty sure I can't put all those parents' minds at ease. I don't have the message they want. And that message? To keep the doors open. But officials believe that to be an unlikely possibility. Because I had a fault. The school, which hosts 85 students from kindergarten through fifth grade, cost the district roughly $185,000 a year. The district would like to save that money by transferring students to a different location. The move to Lewis and Clark, which has rooms, which is beautiful, which would um, make for wonderful class sizes, um, both for Lewis and Clark kids and for um, Crescent kids, is the most logical decision we can come to. If the board doesn't vote to close Crescent Elementary, the district will have to dig into a cash account that's draining every year or consider cutting three or four positions elsewhere. Still, parents say the students are willing to do anything, including combining classrooms. Um, they do know what's going on and they don't want their school to close. They love their school. They've asked why, um, they've asked questions. I brought up to my daughter that um, they are stating that the um, mixed grade levels isn't ideal, but she doesn't mind it. She's in a fourth grade, fourth and fifth combined classroom and loves it. Because three plus three is six. Other parents like Cassie Gaines say that if the school closes, many students will transfer out of the district entirely. I think a lot of people, their parents will, I think end up going to Underwood. And it's not gonna look good for Martha where she wants all the students to go to Lewis and Clark. I think a lot of them are going to Underwood. As emotions begin to boil over, officials are trying to find a solution. Bruckner realizes at this point in time, she's running out of ideas. This isn't fun. Um, this recommendation has been put before me several years in a row, and I have said no every time. But we're running out of other options. We really are. But given the parameters that we have, we don't know another answer. The next Council Bluffs Community School District Board meeting will take place February 14th at the Omni Center. Those wishing to voice their opinions will have an opportunity to do so at that meeting before the board votes on a plan of action on the 28th. 